all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. Big plate, big dinner, bitch, I'm a made nigga yeah. All in hobby, trust nobody, me and my grave digger I'ma have it all, I'ma have it all What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen. Hit that sub button, all right? Hit that sub button. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. With that being said, Matt Jones sucks. Looking like a bus. You should have kept Cam Newton. You know what I'm saying? A quarterback that you can fucking trust. It's as simple as that. And that rhyme, don't hate the player. Bars. Whatever Tyrone Magnus says. Alright, I'm still depressed over the Giants. So if I fumble my words, forgive me. But at the end of the day, I tried to tell y'all. You should have kept Cam Newton. I told you, you should have kept Cam Newton. He's not ready. He threw... 51 passes today the new england patriots did not want this offense the new england patriots did not want an offense where they were going to be throwing the ball 51 times they wanted to run the ball control the middle of the field with the tight ends and have an occasional deep shot to Aguilar. they wanted to run read options they wanted cam newton but they, they fell in love with Mac Jones over some stupid shit in the preseason. Boston media made him the second coming. He's Larry Bird to Boston media. This is like the, the most hyped Boston player since Larry Bird. And Belichick fell for it. Belichick really crumbled under media pressure. He crumbled under the pressure of the Boston media. And he chose Mac Jones over Cam Newton. And now he stinks. He stinks because it was the preseason. I told y'all, it's the preseason. Mac Jones is the first quarterback in the history of the planet to be anointed after preseason games. Preseason. Any other quarterback, oh, preseason don't matter. Oh, it's only the preseason. He got to do it in a real game. Yeah, act like Mac Jones is out there playing against starters. Mac Jones did all his damage against Amazon drivers, burger flippers, and Walmart greeters. He, that's who he did his damage against. They're not NFL players. Now he's playing against real NFL teams who are scheming to beat his ass, and he can't do shit. Three interceptions. Cam Newton would, would, would have put in work on the Saints. Cam Newton always put in work on the Saints. Win, lose, or draw, Cam Newton put his foot up the Saints' ass. He wouldn't have got beat like that today. Cam Newton would have had Damian Harris getting a hundred-something rushing yards a game. Cam Newton with the read option threat would have had them tight ends running open in the middle of the field all game. Face it, Patriot fans, y'all miss Cam Newton. You don't got to admit it to me. You don't even got to say it out loud. But when you talk to God who knows your heart, admit to him, beg him for forgiveness for all the slander that you put on Cam Newton name to get him up out of New England. Because at the end of the day, that was a smear campaign that the city of Boston launched on Cam Newton. Karma's a bitch and she will fuck you every single time. That's what y'all get. Now bend over, put your head in the pillow, and get fucked by that karma dick, long dick style. Take that shit. That's what you get. Because I told y'all from day one, Cam Newton is a playmaker. At some point, Matt Jones is a rookie who cannot scramble and create plays. At some point, you're going to need a playmaker at the quarterback who can just get it done. He just makes something happen. And look at you. Mac Jones throwing three picks. Looking awful. Mr. Check down himself. Looking awful. That man threw the ball 51 times and couldn't get 300 yards. In what world? <sighs> Stupid ass Patriot fans. Y'all wanted this. I'm happy y'all losing. Because y'all wanted this. Y'all back for this. Y'all literally back for this. I'm so happy that y'all are losing right now. Because y'all back for this. Y'all pleaded. 
with for Belichick to get rid of Cam. Now look at you, Patriot fans. Let me ask y'all a question. I want every Patriot fan, once again, you don't got to say it in my comment section. You don't have to say it out loud. But when you repent to the man upstairs, I want you to answer this question truthfully. Last year, Cam Newton with those sorry ass wide receivers and tight ends won seven games. Should have been 10 if he if he converted a couple runs versus Seattle on the Bills. He could have won it around nine to ten games, right? That was the worst offense skill position wise in the league. How many games would Mac Jones have won with that same team? If you put Mac Jones on last year's Patriots with, with Demarius Bird and whoever the hell you had at tight end, how many games does Mac Jones win? I know it ain't seven. I know the Patriots don't win seven games with Mac Jones as a quarterback last year. I bet you that much. Unbelievable. That's what you get. I told you. God don't like ugly. I told you that. The Patriots have a Super Bowl caliber defense. The Patriots are good enough on defense to beat anybody in the NFL. All they had to do is be competent on offense, run the ball, and control the clock. And I know what you think is this. We should run the ball with Damian. It don't work like that because he's a rookie. They're not going to respect him. They will load that box on Damian Harris, and they will don't give a damn about your receivers. Cam Newton and the threat of the read option is why that offense is going to work. And now it don't work. And James, you about to get some smoke too. What the hell is wrong with the Saints offense? I don't care that the Saints won. This dude, James, just completed 13 balls for 128 yards. This offense by the Saints is trash. This offense is trash. I mean, shout out to who that nation for getting the W, but it's trash. Michael Thomas need to hurry the hell up. This offense is trash. I don't want to hear no more Michael Thomas slander because this this team cannot move the ball through the air without Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas need to come back to the Saints as soon as possible because once Michael Thomas comes back, that means Callaway's not getting number one corner coverage and he'll be better. I got a feeling Callaway is going to skyrocket as a receiver when Michael Thomas comes back. I think the problem with Marquez Callaway is he's not good enough to beat number one coverage. When Michael Thomas comes back, I, the, the offense has got to get better. And even Alvin Kamara, once Michael Thomas comes back, you can't focus in on Alvin Kamara. They need Michael Thomas. I know he been punched somebody in the face in practice. I know he was petty with the surgery. I get it. Damn it, y'all need to kiss his ass when he come back because this offense ain't shit without Michael Thomas. This offense is garbage without Michael Thomas. Even when Jameis threw them five touchdowns, he had like 100 yards. I'm just saying, Saints fans, y'all need to appreciate Michael Thomas ass when he come back. 100. <laughs> 100. But that's really it. I ain't got nothing else to say. Who that defense is still tough. I told y'all the Saints defense is still going to be hell. Regardless of the offense, the Saints defense still got a lot of studs over there. But that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.